At the Diamond League final in Eugene the other week, we saw the fastest collective mile race in history. Ingebrigtsen ran a time of 3 minutes 43.73 seconds, breaking the Diamond League record, European record, and running the third fastest time ever. In second place, Jared Nagus ran a stunner of his own, laying down his own 3 minute and 43.97 second time, a new American record and the new fourth fastest time in history. What a mind-boggling prospect to run the fourth fastest time in the history of an event and still finish second. And that really got me thinking. In the entirety of track and field history, who were the fastest athletes to still lose? The fastest second place finish we've seen in the women's 100m was back in 2021 at a Diamond League meet in Lausanne. We got an epic showdown between Elaine Thompson Hero, who the week prior doubled at the Tokyo Olympics in some smoking times, and Shelly Ann Fraser Price, the women's sprint GOAT who was arguably upset at those Olympics. Fraser Price would end up taking revenge, running a staggering time of 10.60 seconds, and Thompson Hero would just miss her at the line in a time of 10.64 seconds. Both these times fast enough to win this year's world champs, be the world lead for 2023, and also net them the 3rd and 9th fastest time on the women's 100m all time list. A fantastically fast race. But as historic second places go, we can do better. At the London 2012 Olympics, we saw the fastest second place finish ever in the men's 200m. At this Olympics, Bolton Blake pulled off an incredible double double in the 100 and 200m. But holy smokes, the 200m was the race to witness. This era was the strongest men's short sprint lineup we've ever seen, and they absolutely decimated this field. Bolt finished in a time of 19.32, and Blake came in a close second at 19.44 seconds. Blake's time alone would make Noah Lyles look like an amateur at this year's World Champs. Incredible times, yet still only the 5th equal and 8th fastest time in history. Pretty good so far. But what about the women's 400m? In 1985, we saw the birth of a still standing 35 year old world record, and in the same race, the fastest second place in the women's 400m ever. Marita Koch from East Germany would ruin the event with a time of 47.6 seconds, a time no one has even come close to since. And in second was Olga Brzezina in a time of 48.27 seconds. And yes, she's all the way back here. And don't even mind the rest of the field not even being in view. In a one lap race. Brigina's second place, 48.27, is so fast. It's basically half a second faster than what Sydney McLaughlin ran for this year's world lead. The time we were all losing our shit over and proclaiming she's coming for the world record. While we know Koch's time is the world record, Brigina's 48.27 is only the ninth fastest time in the history of the event. The women's 400m leaderboard is actually messed up. McLaughlin isn't even close. At the 2009 Berlin World Athletics Champs, we witnessed the fastest second time finish in the men's 100m ever. Oh, and I guess a world record. Bolt does what Bolt does best, except he actually ran through the line this time, in 9.58 seconds. Everyone goes berserk, but hey man, Tyson Gay was actually pretty close. He finished in 9.71 seconds. If we adjust this time for wind, it's actually the fastest race he ever ran in his career, and would quite literally smoke any Olympic and world champs race after the Bolt era. Still, 9.71 lands him as the 6th fastest time ever. There's still better second places out there. For example, the women's 400m hurdles at the Tokyo 2021 Olympics. You know where this is going. Here we saw McLaughlin and Muhammad battle it out to lay down the world record and the second fastest time in history at 51.46 and 51.58. But that was 2021. At the time, this was big bloody news. But cut to today and McLaughlin and Bowl have inflated this leaderboard, moving this absolutely historic world record and second place finish to the fourth and fifth fastest performances of all time. The women's 400m hurdles is facing some serious inflation right now but we can still do better. In 2001, at a meeting in Brussels, we saw what's considered to be one of the greatest 1500 meter races ever, where they also happen to be racing for gold bars. 
With 300 meters to go, Hisham El Garouj from Morocco and Bernard Legat from Kenya would battle intensely, making this a two-man race. They would pull into the finish in historic times of 3 minutes 26.12 seconds and 3 minutes 26.34 seconds. Times so fast they'd win any major championship in history and landing them in the second and third fastest times of all time in the event, with only El Garouj himself ever going faster. Even two decades later, we've never seen a 1500 meter race come close to this, or anyone come second in a more spectacular fashion. But that's the men's 1500. When it comes to the men's 400 meter hurdles, that's a different story. We've seen this event blow up in the last three years, with 16 of the 17 fastest times in history taking place in 2020 and onwards, and by the same three athletes. What the absolute hell? At the 2021 Tokyo Olympics, we saw debatably the greatest losing performance of all time. Carsten Vorholm from Norway and USA's Rai Benjamin battled to the end in a pure battle of willpower to cross the line in times of 45.94 seconds and 46.17 seconds. Benjamin's second place time destroyed the old world record by half a second, and in an interview after the race, he even said, if you would have told me I would have run 46.1 and lose, I would probably beat you up. You just know this race stung an unbelievable amount. To think, this was all sparked on by Ingebrigtsen and Nagus running the third and fourth fastest mile times ever, and what was collectively the fastest mile race ever as well. But this just begs the question, who ran faster than them in the mile? What the heck in 1999 in a meet in Rome, Italy, we saw Hicham El Garouj from Morocco and Noah Ngeni from Kenya throw hands in the fastest two-man mile race in history. Within the first lap, these two were gone with the paces. It was literally a two-man race with three minutes left to go. As they came through the tape, they'd both smash the record by an entire second. Three minutes, 43.13 seconds, and three minutes, 43.40 seconds. 24 years later, and we hadn't seen anyone come within the same second as this race. Until of course the other week, when Nagus and Ingebrigtsen ran. Noah Nguyen is truly the fastest second place in history. For his time to stand unbeaten for 24 years, and to still not have won the race, it's a rarer feat than actually having the world record. Even then, the very next year, he'd actually edge out El Garouj to take gold at the Sydney Olympics. What an absolute king.